Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for February 4th. I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land, Isaiah 58, 14. One of the first rules of aerodynamics is that flying into the wind quickly increases altitude. The wings of the airplane create more lift by flying against the wind. How was this lesson learned? It was learned by watching birds fly. If a bird is simply flying for pleasure, it flies with the wind, but if it senses danger, it turns into the wind to gain altitude and flies up toward the sun. The sufferings of life are God's winds. Sometimes they blow against us and are very strong. They are his hurricanes, taking our lives to higher levels towards his heavens. Do you remember a summer day when the heat and humidity were so oppressive you could hardly breathe? But a dark cloud appeared on the horizon, growing larger and larger until it suddenly brought a rich blessing to your world. The storm raged, lightning flashed, and thunder rumbled. The storm covered your sky, the atmosphere was cleansed, new life was in the air, and your world was changed. Human life works exactly on the same principle. When the storms of life appear, the atmosphere is changed, purified, filled with new life, and part of heaven is brought down to earth, selected. Facing obstacles should make us seen. The wind finds its voice not when rushing across an open sea, but when it is hindered by the outstretched limbs of a pine tree or broken by the strings of an alien wind harp. Only then does the harp have songs of power and beauty. Send your soul, which has been set free, sweeping across the obstacles of life. Send it through the relentless forest of pain and against even the smallest hindrances and worries of life, and it too will find a voice with which to sing. Selected. Be like a bird that, halting in its flight, rests on a limb too slight, and feeling it give away, beneath him sings, knowing he has wings. Thank you for listening. God bless you.